Hello friends. So in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a Google Hangout chatbot using Dialogflow. So first of all, please keep in mind that Hangouts is accessible only if you have a Google G Suite account. If you don't have a G Suite account, you can ask someone to invite you to their G Suite account. But if you don't have a G Suite account and if no one invites you, then you won't be able to create this Hangout chatbot. Just keep in mind that you should have a G Suite account. Now you can check more about this on chat.google.com. So you can go to just chat.google.com and see if you have access to uh, Hangouts. So I will add this link in the description section below so you can check it out. So now coming to creating Hangouts chatbot using Dialogflow. Uh, creating a chatbot is very simple. You just need to make sure that you log in into Dialogflow from the same email address as the one which you have access to the Google Hangouts. So let's see how to create a simple Google Hangouts chatbot using Dialogflow. So first of all, you have to go to chat.google.com and make sure you have access to uh, Google Hangouts. So if you have access to Google Hangouts, you should see an interface like this. Okay. If you don't have access, you will see something like, sorry, this account don't have access to Google Hangouts. Now I've already created a agent here called Hangouts Demo. And I have created two intents here. One is welcome, one is fallback. So if I say help, hi. says welcome to my agent so let's try to connect this hangouts demo chatbot to our google hangout so for do, to do that you have to go to integrations and click here hangouts chatbot and uh, you can select one of the options here so uh, if you select this option anyone in your domain for example, my domain is excelwebtech.com. So anyone having this domain, anyone having email address uh, xyz at excelwebtech.com can install this bot. If I select this option, then uh, I can specify which people can install this bot. And I'm going to select this option only me. So I'm going to select this option and I'm just going to click on start. Just wait for a couple of seconds and there you go. You see it says bot was started. Now there are a couple of settings here. It says configure bot details. So you can click on it and you can configure bot details, but it is not required. So if you want, you can ignore this as well. So it goes to the Google Cloud platform and you can see some of the details about your uh, bot like uh, the name of the bot description and few other details but uh, as i said you don't need to do this so you can ignore it the next important step is to go to chat.google.com and click on this plus next to bots and when you click on this plus and you need to type here the name of the bot. So just type Hangouts and there you go. So you should see your bot here. Just remember that this bot will be displayed only when this integration is turned on. Otherwise you won't see this. So once you see the bot here, just click on Add to Room. Or actually, if you don't want to add to room, you can directly message the bot. So click here on message. And there you go. Just say hi. And your bot will start replying. See, welcome to my agent. So it is saying welcome to my agent because uh, in the fulfillment, 
I have written here welcome to my agent so if I go to intent if I go to welcome and if I change the response hello and welcome to our hangouts chatbot save it and if I disable the fulfillment and make sure I save the changes and now if I go to this and if I say hi is hello and welcome to our hangouts chatbot so this is how you create a very simple chatbot now let's do some of the uh, additional stuff like adding image card so let's see how to add image uh, card and buttons using this dialog flow console so I'll just click on image and uh, let's try to find a hangout image maybe so I'm going to just use this image for now so I'll put this image and there you go so now if I say hi you see I got this image so it is very easy to add an image now let's try to add a card here so for card you need to add an image URL and you can add a title cool go chatbot you need to have a button title and the link so let's try it out now if I say hi I should see this image and the card so you see this is the image and this is the card it has title subtitle the image and then the buttons here if I click on button it will go to Google and similarly it will go to Facebook so that worked that is how you add uh, a card and image okay so now let's see how to use this custom payload to send the custom uh, to send a custom card or a custom image so if you want to send a card like this a custom card or a message a simple text message like this then you can use the custom payload so I will put this link in the description below you can just go to this link and then click on this learn more about cards now uh, you can send any of these cards like this one this one or this one so let's try to send this thing uh, this small message here so all you need to do is uh, copy this JSON this whole JSON and come here and move the existing code paste this new code and uh, there's one important thing that you have to remember is replace this card with hangouts okay and uh, remove this capital bracket as well so within hangouts you should have sections so always keep in mind that first key should be hangouts and then second key should be sections so save it and now just say hi and there you go see this card cool so let's try another one 
so let's say I want to send this image so all I need to do is copy this whole code here and come here add response I can add custom payload remove the existing paste it here and then just change the card to hangouts and remove the capital bracket and save it also I think this image won't work so make sure you the correct image save it and now if I say hi see I got this image here okay that's cool uh, we can try another one which is uh, this one pizza delivery one Copy and response custom payload delete existing paste this and remember that we have to change the cards to hangouts and uh, capital bracket here so remove this one as well and we can have this header section this should not be a problem so let's try and that worked you see we got this card here with order number, status, location and this button so this is how you use custom payload now let's see how to send image card from inline editor so right now we have seen from uh, response console how to do it from inline editor so the benefit of doing it from inline editor is you can write if else logic if condition is this if some parameter value is this then send this card otherwise send some other card so what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable the fulfillment okay so once I enable this fulfillment and save it now if I say hi the response will come from my code it says welcome to my agent and if you go to fulfillment you see this uh, response is coming from here welcome to my agent so if I change this to welcome to my hangouts chatbot this response is coming from code okay and if I deploy this just wait for a couple of minutes and by the way if you don't know how to write this code then please watch my other tutorial videos on uh, inline editor in how to use inline editor in dialogflow so just to give you a quick idea this is the name of the intent welcome intent and this is the function which is executing welcome function so whenever i say hi welcome intent is triggered and then this function is executed
okay so deployment is done if now i type hi says welcome to my hangout chatbot this response is coming from code so we are sure that this is coming from the code and now what we are going to do is we are going to send a image and some custom cards using code using inline editor so how to do that so first of all we will create a function and we will create a function called get custom payload and then what we are going to do is we are going to this website here and we are going to just copy the custom payload so let's use this custom payload so I just copied and pasted the custom payload here let's align the code let's put a valid image link here which is our hangout image link and all I'm going to do is just return custom payload so I'm going to return this this function will return this custom payload okay and the thing that you have to keep in mind is uh, remove card and this capital bracket so just to show you once again so you will see this cards key and this capital bracket we don't need that we need it from sections so remove this card and then this capital bracket coming here remove this curly bracket and this capital bracket we just need this part here from sections and uh, inside your function all you need to write is agent.add new payload and the first parameter should be hangouts second so the first parameter should be hangouts second parameter should be the function get custom payload and the third parameter should be send as message true now it will say uh, payload is not defined for that you need to come here and after webhook client just write payload so you see just put a comma and payload within curly brackets so now it will not show any errors so agent dot add new payload uh, first parameter is hangout second parameter is get custom payload function make sure to rem uh, add this uh, round brackets and then third parameter is within curly brackets send as message true okay uh, one more thing to keep in mind is go to package.json file and you will see dialog flow, dialog flow fulfillment here so you will see 0 0.5 here change this to 0 0.6.1 change 0 0.1 to 0 0.6.1 okay and then come back here and uh, deploy okay so the deployment is complete and now let's test it so now if I say hi says welcome to my hangout chatbot and there you go you see got the image now let's quickly try for something else let's try for this so again do the same thing copy this whole code here for this widget go to dialog flow 
uh, go to this custom payload function remove the existing custom payload put your new custom payload and as I said remove this cards and capital bracket and this curly bracket so you just need a sections here so similarly remove this curly bracket and capital bracket and you need this just this part so that's it deploy this everything else here will remain the same okay so the deployment is done now let's test it out so go to hangouts type hi and you see there you go now we are seeing the card here so the benefit of doing it from code is you can make API calls and you can really show any custom data for example you can show some train information real-time information from the API or you can show the order number right from the API and uh, you can write if else logic if uh, some parameter value is X do this if some parameter value is Y do this and all sorts of thing so that's it for uh, hangouts chatbot if you have any question feel free to write in the comment section and I will try to answer them so I hope you like this video please subscribe to our channel if you have not already subscribed and if you like this video click on this like button and also please press the bell icon so that you get that notification of the latest videos so thank you for watching this video thank you